Hi guys, it's a very quick uh, tech talk, <laughs> tech talk and, and tips video and we have a guest. This is my cat, Bobek, his name is Bob uh, and he, when we are filming he's always coming and he's very social. So this is Bob, he's already 16 or 17 years old and still holding on. <laughs> okay, all right, so back to the tech talk, important stuff. Uh, the, pro the, the build of the um, Odyssey is progressing, which is uh, very nice and I have very nice info about landing gear because I decided that I will not use my old trusted landing gear from other planes and I will design my own struts and wheels myself on the computer and print it on 3D printer. I have designed and built maybe 20 or 30 prototypes and printed from PLA. And now it's perfect, it's done, it's finished. It is going to be looking like this. It's printed from uh, nylon reinforced with carbon fiber, the same material that I used to print uh, EDF rotors, which is super strong. It's unbelievably strong. I gave it to my brother to break and he's super strong and he was not able to break it. It's so strong and it's light and it's going to work like that, so the, the travel of the arm is really great. There is a place for spring, the springs are already coming, and which is nice, this is specially designed to be bulky, because it's designed to be aerodynamic, so it's flush, flat, flat with, the, with the foil of the wing, and here I'm going to print a small small extra covers to fill up the, the hole so it's going to be super smooth and the spring is hidden underneath this here so it's, it's the same thing so it is uh, it is going to be super aerodynamic and when the landing gear is open we're flying slow so it doesn't matter and it's even better because it's going to be like an air brake and the, the wheel well it's big enough to fit 102 mm wheel, which, is, which are also printed from nylon with carbon. It's super light and super strong. And I decided not to use rubber, even though I have a rubber for a tire, because we are landing on the grass strip, which is soft, and the rubber is not uh, necessary. Of course, if I decide to fly from the concrete strips, I will use rubber. But this is great because then I can share with you these files and you will have a landing gear for free because printing is almost for free which is great and this landing gear me uh, mechanics I already told you in the last video is only 30 euro so you have set for a jet for almost or even less than 100 euro which is super super cool so you save 600 euro at least on the jet like that and this, this will be strong enough to hold the 15 kilo plane which is great Okay, so it's super nice, and one more, uh, one more small thing in this short video, very short video. I have, we have a lot of comments about the, the batteries, and some of you are, because we are corresponding via email also, some of you are surprised that the power that the lions are delivering is so low, and blah 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 blah. So. I need to clarify one thing. The reason I'm using Lions, Lee Eons, already so many years, because I fly on them already many years, the main reason is that they are way more reliable than LiPos. With my usage, LiPos I was exchanging, after one month I had to already purchase a new LiPo, which was costly and also not really environment friendly, because I was producing tons of dirty Lions. Dirty lipos lying around my my house, and I was I needed to dispose it, so it was not nice, and I was constantly disappointed that the lipos are not living so long, that they are not holding. Even the the strong ones from Hobby King, the the Graffin ones, which I liked a lot, after maybe 20 flights, they were not delivering the power anymore. They were dying, so I was kind of uh, kind of disappointed, and that's why I started searching. Uh, other chemistries and I, I started with uh, Leons and the Leons of course they have voltage drop but they are lighter so you can actually stuff into your plane more of them which is compensating the voltage drop so for example when you're flying on 5000 LiPo 
you can actually fly on 8000 Leon, which is not as strong as 5000 LiPo, is a little bit weaker, but the, the capacity is compensating for the voltage drop, so it's not that bad. But on the Leon, if you're a flyer like me, I fly a lot, a lot of flights uh, a week. For, for me, it's quite important that I don't need to buy new batteries all the time. So on Leons, you can easily fly throughout the whole year and the batteries are still holding. The, the specifications for the Leons, they say 250 cycles to 50% of capacity, but actually it's, it's not that because I made hundreds of flights and these batteries are holding on. They're very good. So, so that's the, the reason is the lifetime, the life cycle of these batteries. This is the main reason. They are just robust and they are, and of course when you have a crash, they don't break so easily. So it's way easier to salvage the battery, the Leon battery like this, than the, the LiPo battery, which I crashed a lot. Uh, this is the battery that I uh, had in the crash in uh, Avanti, and it's nothing, nothing. The battery survived, okay? And here you just need to choose the right battery for your application. If you fly FPV, so low current, uh, low current draw, then you need to use battery like that. This is a 5000 Leon Samsung 50E. It can deliver 15 amps. So not much, but it has a lot of volume and it's super light because it's 70 gram per cell. Super light. If you knew, if you need a lot of current, then this ones that I use in my applications, this is Samsung 40T, 4000 milliampere hours, but uh, delivering easily 80 amps. Easily. They, they're specified for 40 or 45 amps, but uh, I'm flying dead stick, no, not dead stick, like full, full throttle, uh, 50, 55 amps, no problems from takeoff to landing and uh, burst up to 100 amps. And if you need lightweight and quite nice power, then I recommend to you Sony VTC6, Sony, Sony Murata or Sony VTC6, such a code. This is 3000 milliampere hours, 3100. Uh, this is a smaller battery, 18650, and uh, and it's very nice because for very short period of time it gives also 100 amps, but 50 it gives easily. It's not as strong as as this one 40T, but it's also very nice and it's very reliable. And I I flew hundreds of flights on those Sonys, and they are super nice batteries. So if you need a lighter application and the one cell weighs only 50 grams. So if you need a reliable light application, then I recommend these green ones from Sony. Okay, so this was a short video about the Talk Tech and Tech Talk, and the, the, the build is progressing. I'm not telling you other stuff. I just wanted to share with you the, the landing gear, but it will fly soon. Okay, thank you so much and have a good day.